<laughs> I would suggest you stay on my good side, young one. Or feel my wrath. <laughs> <coughs> oh, hi. Hey, ever been voicing? <coughs> and, uh, get that tickle in your throat? Maybe have a raw throat? Don't know what to do? How to prevent it? Stay tuned, I'm going to give you 10 tips right now on how you can help save your voice for your voiceover session. Coming up next. Hey there, I'm Phoenix T. Clark. I am a voiceover actress and I am here to let you know a few tips. Ten of them, in fact, two hands. <laughs> Ten tips on how you can save your voice or maybe help with that raw throat that you're getting. I get a lot of questions on how to do this, so let's jump right into it right away. First things first, most importantly, good old H2O, filtered water. Don't take it out of your tap. That stuff's gross. Ugh. Um, H2O, um, always keep it on hand. I have a bottle, as you can see. I go through about, I don't know, 10, 12 of these a day. Um, quite a lot. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Habitually, um, people in North America are definitely, well, around the world, I would think, are uh, quite dehydrated, um, studies have shown. So people drink up. There's no need why you can't. We're 98% water, something like that. Anyway, we're a lot of water in a bag of skin. And uh, we need more water to hydrate. The more you drink, the more your, your vocal cords are going to get the hydration that they need to stay nice and loose and lubricated as they need to be. It's also going to help you with your sinuses. Um, if you have that post-nasal drip too, which uh, actually helps make that raw throat. It sounds gross, I know. But if you have that, it is an awful thing. Um, when you wake up in the morning, you get that that sore throat, oftentimes it's snoring, which is sometimes caused by post-nasal drip. So this will help you clear away that gunk. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a natural thing that happens in your body, so don't, I know it's kind of gross, but don't worry about it. Which leads me into the next thing, a neti pot. If you have a cold um, or any kind of sinus happening and drip thing, um, the neti pot will help uh, clear out all that. What it is is basically the pot. If you haven't seen it, I'll do another video later. Um, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> it's kind of gross. Um, it's a little pot that you get and you put some water in it with a bit of salt and you um, basically put it up one nostril, tilt your head and it comes out the net exit through sinuses. Absolutely wonderful. Um, and you feel so good. It flushes out all of the allergens and all that other bad gunk and stuff that's in there gets it out of there and lets um, lets you get on with breathing. You can actually breathe. It also allows the moisture to get up into your sinuses because now that we're going into the winter uh, period of the year, at least where I'm at, um, we've got the electric heat on, things like that. There's more heat indoors in your car. There's cold air outside. It's all basically drying out your sinus cavities. Um, and all of that. Another thing, tip number three, um, other than hydrating and a neti pot, and number three would be to drink a lot. Not only water, but your juices, your teas, um, sorry, not teas, but tisanes. Um, cut out those coffees, teas. anything with caffeine, pop, fizzy drink, soda, whatever you want to call it. Um, not only does it have sugar in it, with processed sugar, bad for your health. So no, 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 no. Um, if you need some sweet in it, why not try some stevia or agave syrup? They're natural alternatives to the sugar. Processed sugar is bad for your body. It also helps make the uh, smells noises too, but that's another video. You know about that too. Um, let's see. Uh, what can you drink? Um, if you don't have any uh, tea, at home herbal tea talking um, then it's very easy to make some and if you have that raw throat going on say uh, you're doing video games <clears throat> like we're doing at the top of the show um, the video games 
it's hard on your voice because there's a lot of screaming. There's a lot of bravado and all of that going on. So you have to realize that you are using those vocal cords and straining them when you're doing the shouting, a lot of shouting in, in games. Um, and that is straining your voice. So what you want to do is drink up um, and you can do a gargle with salt, warm salt water and a bit of coconut oil. Now the coconut oil is, um, it sounds, might sound gross to some, but if you melt it down and put just a tiny bit, you don't need to put a lot, um, in the warm water with the salt and gargle it up, it'll help, um, basically take away the germs in your mouth. Um, it'll help soothe and, uh, coat as well and uh, antifungal as well. Now for the teas, back to those, um, for the teas you can just get uh, some herbs from around the house. If you have rosemary in your uh, in your cabinet, maybe you cook with it. That's very good. Uh, rosemary has antifungal, antibacteria, um, uh, uh, anti-inflammatory, um, antioxidants, a lot of antis in, in rosemary. It's really good for you make a tea out of it, put, add some tea, really good. Um, I find for myself, uh, my favorite is actually just getting a slice of lemon. That's right, a lemon. Wash off the exterior of the lemon, make a slice. Don't even peel it. Don't take the peeling off. So you've got some pretty goodness in that, uh, in the peel as well. You're going to get your health benefits from as well. Um, put that into a, a mug. Good old mug. See, got mine here. Put the slice in there. Um, if you have one of these little fellas, which is a, uh, I don't even know what these things are called. I just call them filters. <laughs> I don't even know. If you know, leave a message in the comment. Let me know. Um, anyway, you put your stuff in here. You put the little cap on, and uh, you can make your tea. I'll show you. I have in here. Kind of gross. There you go, see? <laughs> I'm dripping it all over the place. That is hot. It is hot. Ow. Ow, ow. Hot. Ow. Yeah, way to go. Wonderful. I just burnt myself. <laughs> Not really, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I put a little bit of uh, my favorite in there. If I need that boost, I will get some Earl Grey. Um, but um, usually I'll put in some lemon balm, some sage, hibiscus, uh, roboids or roboids, robos. I don't know how you say that. Can't spell it either. Um, uh, whorehound, thyme, uh, green tea, peppermint. Those are all great, and they're great for your throat. And get them in down there. Wonderful as well. And you can mix them up any way you like. Um, I usually add the rosemary to the lemon with a touch of the either agave syrup or stevia. Or um, if you're able to have honey, I'm not. I'm allergic to propol propolis. Um, but honey is a good alternative for most people. That is a great idea. Uh, add that in. Coat soothes uh, so many different health benefits. It is unbelievable to do. Up to five, six. Okay. This is kind of specific. But if you're going out, say, for the night, and you're going... Um, a busy restaurant and it's loud kind of like when you go clubbing you have to raise your voice to be heard above the crowd if your waiter or waitress has to ask you two three times what you are saying or to get your order it's too loud in there don't go in there plain and simple um i know you want to go with the crowd and that's where they're going then that's okay then lower your voice and talk more softly and make the people come to you. That was a tip I got from Tanya. Thanks, Tanya. Um, over at Gravy for the Brain. Um, that is absolutely amazing trick. I didn't think of that one myself, but that was Tanya's. So I have to pass that along. Because um, it works better. Because you're lowering your voice from that um, you know, upper register. You're trying to push it out kind of thing. To get it on out there. To letting the people come to you and, and talk with you. Love that. Um, personally, what I do is when we're, uh, when we're going out and we're invited to go out to some place, for instance, um, not hating on this, uh, on, on, uh, Eastside Mario's, but I find their restaurant very noisy, <clears throat> pardon me, and when 
I come out of there, my ears are ringing. It is awful um, to have that ear ringing thing when you know you have to go back home and you, um, or over to a studio or wherever you're going to record and you have these ringing ears because you've been in a place where the decibels are just too loud for too long. And you may not even um, be aware of it, but if you're a voiceover artist, you really should. Don't, um, don't raise your voice to be heard above the crowd. So don't be talking up here and pushing it out more. Um, talk in your normal register. And um, if people don't want, that's, that's if you have to go there. If you can get them to go someplace else, for instance, a quieter restaurant where you can actually hold a conversation, hear each other, um, you know, above the dinge of, of the restaurant, that would be much better. And I always let people know, look, I'm a voice actor. This is what I do for a living. A surgeon's tools are these things, their hands. Uh, mine is this. And if I can't talk tomorrow because I'm going out to dinner with someone and I'm yelling and screaming at them, that is not a good thing. I will say, hey, let's go someplace else. It's my livelihood. Can't do it. Sorry. Most people will be understanding and they'll let you know. So that's pretty good. If they don't, well, hey, opt out and go home. Save yourself the money from the, uh, for the restaurant for the night. Something else you can put into your own your own business. Where number eight. Well, the one thing I keep on my desk when I'm really hard up is this thing. Ricola. Love Ricola. Um, natural, more natural. It does have a bit of menthol in it. I know, Hugh, that's not so great, but um, uh, it has a, a few other things as well. Getting old, can't read them. I know there's a few of the ingredients that I've already mentioned. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's see. Uh, peppermint, elder. Elder's really good. Uh, love elderberries. Those are very good in tea as well. There's another tip. Um, wild thyme. Uh, whorehound. Oh, hyssops. That's one I haven't heard of. Um, too much of, anyway. Lemon balm. Already said that one. Linden, sage. Yeah, all of them. Anyway, ones that I always use. No more than four a day. If you're using more than four a day, um, go see a doctor. Yeah, something. Or uh, your medical practitioner. Um, so there's number eight. Number nine would be um, pretty uh, simple. Avoid whispering. Don't whisper. It actually strains your voice. It does. It does. Um, do as little bit of whispering unless you need to do it for work as possible because it does. The extra air in and out of there is not helping the vocal cords at all. It's actually drying them out even more. So if you have a cold and... Uh, and or a blue sinus thing going on, or you just have a raw throat and you don't really know why, that is what's going on. Um, it's it's going to hurt you more. So whisper only if you have to for, you know, for the session kind of thing. Um, and number 10, um, I guess the pretty much obvious one and the one my daughter loves the most. What is that? Be quiet. Stop talking. Uh, uh, my daughter loves it because it's the only time she can get away with saying, hey, mom, what? Shh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Stop talking. <laughs> um, pretty much uh, when you go home at night from doing your sessions, don't talk. Text. You got text. Everybody loves texting. Yeah, text. Learn sign language. Something new. Um, just don't talk for the evening. Give your voice a rest. What you do all day. If you can avoid it. That's what you should do. So there's your top 10 tips uh, that you can do to help save your voice. There's a lot more, um, and there'll be a lot more coming up. Uh, different videos, tips, and tricks that you can do. Um, even just funky things that I find around the internets and the interwebs um, to pass along to you. Um, I will be putting them here for you as often as I can. I'm going to shoot for a Monday, Wednesday, blah, blah, blah. For a Monday, Wednesday, Friday kind of schedule. Um, and if you have any questions about voiceover, um, feel free. Um, shoot me a message. Where can you find me? Uh, you can head on over to my websites here. Um, up here and here and here. Uh, 
Phoenix T Phoenix T Clark dot com. There's a chat outlet there. You can get a hold of me if I'm online. If not, hey, leave me a message. Let me know. Um, use the uh, use ow use the message and let me know. Shoot me an email. I will do a video up for you and get it out. And or probably shoot you an email back and uh, give you the tip ahead of time. The other one you can head on over to voiceoverelite.com. Myself and my team are there for uh, voiceover needs uh, for anyone who might need some male and female professional voiceover artists. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget, give it a like. If you uh, like to hear out, hear some more of this great content, also subscribe over here. Anyway, leave me your comments and questions below. I hope to see you uh, around the VO sessions. Get on out there and make that VO magic happen.